Thought I'd start out today's video out in the hall today to show you some of the posters we're working on in class, how to get out of controlling relationships. This one over here features me, that you should come talk to me if you're in a controlling relationship. See, that's me. Totally looks like me, doesn't it? So come around here. You can kind of see some of these things right here. Are you in a controlling relationship? Don't be toxic. But the problem is some of you keep getting in them and you like getting in them. And so we need to talk a little bit about that today. Down, oh, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. So shame on me now. Blew me to places I've never been. Now I'm lying on the cold hard ground. Oh, oh. So some of you purposefully ignore red flags. And let's just say that those of you do that, your environment for dating is basically... Okay, so the scariest environment imaginable. Thanks. That's all you gotta say. Scariest environment imaginable. Now, why is it that some of you purposefully ignore red flags? What is it that's going on here? So why is it that we date people that we know are going to be trouble? I wanted to talk about a few different reasons for that in this current video here. What are you uh, doing? Be still, mon chéri, for I am your savior, and I am rescuing you from this green <laughs> beast. When we date narcissistic people, interestingly enough, they seem very exciting at first. So even if we see all these red flags, then we think that that's fine. I'm having a great time now. I'll just deal with it later. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Because you have what's called present moment bias, where you really don't care about what happens later. That's a later me problem. I'll let them deal with it when it happens. But don't forget where that leads. Seriously, how many times do you actually have to lay on the cold, hard ground before you learn I this? I to mix it up. After the last guy I broke up with, I dated his brother, his best friend, his best friend's brother, his other brother, and his cousin. What am I doing wrong? Is I <laughs> Ow! What was that? What's your point? Maybe this time. 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 Another reason why people date toxic people, even though they know they're toxic, is they think that toxic people are more exciting. This looks totally exciting, doesn't it? But one thing you should know is that it is possible and actually more likely to be healthy and exciting at the same time. You can be nice, kind, empathetic, and still be exciting at the same time. Hey, dude! I can't see! You are doing great! Get out of the way! Open the, the door! Open the door, dude! Open the door, dude! The beautiful see. dress, by the way! I thought I'd ask my classroom tortoise, Master Ugwe, what he thought about. He's moving. I thought I'd ask him what he thought about if it's possible to be nice and exciting at the same time. Because a lot of people think that nice people are boring. What do you think, Master Ugwe? For those of you who couldn't hear, this is what he said. It makes me awfully mad! It's me really mad! Because. Master Ugwe is both nice and exciting at the same time. Now some people get into toxic relationships because they think they can handle all this. They think they can handle the gaslighting, the love bombing, the cycle of abuse. They think they're not afraid. Stories like this spread fear, and they're afraid of fear. But I don't fear fear. And those of you who say that they're not afraid of such things, this is what I have to say. You will be. You will be. Now I'm lying on the cold, hard ground. Ah! Trouble, trouble, trouble. Ah! Some of you also seem to like to date projects. People who you think you can make better over time. And you think that you can fix them. That's... And I think that by putting up with her emotional abuse, eventually I'll be able to rescue her. You're my knight in shining armor. Okay, that type of thing is going to lead to this. The power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. It's you and me. I know it's my destiny, Pokemon. So some people are looking for projects. You don't want to look for projects. You seem to need projects rather than people. You should be with someone wonderful. 
But such people are available, fully assembled. And even keep acquiring them in kit form. That you want to find somebody that you don't have to save, that you don't have to uh, fix, that you don't have to worry about later. You want to find somebody that can help you do awesome things right now that you don't have to change at all. Um, shall we? Hold the phone. Jude Havens, you got skills. Let's go! Uh. 